uh, found in music. It's uh, the arts organisation curating uh, this event. So hello everyone. My name is Mad Radio DX UK and I want to welcome you to this video where I'm giving a tutorial on how to do DAB uh, DXing um, outdoors. Now what it is is that I had a, a comment from somebody from one of my videos where I showed this radio and they were asking, look, you know, how do you do DAB DXing outdoors? Um, because I think they said they, they actually bought this uh, same model of uh, radio. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to do it. Okay. So let me just point a few things out about DAB DXing. First thing um, is that it can be tricky compared to FM DXing. Um, it's not like, for example, with FM. If you you know if you have done FM DXing in the past, you just turn the dial on your radio, and um, you can do a manual scan very easily because you can listen to stations there and then. With DAB, although you can manually scan. Um, you know uh, certain allocations or channels of the the DAB band. Um, I would say it's best not to do that um, if you you know doing DAB DXing for the first time. It's best to do an automatic uh, scan, and automatic scanning of DAB is available on all uh, DAB uh, radios. And if a radio hasn't got DAB, automatic DAB scanning, I wouldn't call that a DAB radio. So because it has to you know find all the multiplexes and so on. Uh, so. Um, that you know just to clear that out of the way because it's not as you know when you're DAB DXing it's not as straightforward as FM DXing for that reason like I said you cannot hear everything straight away you have to automatically scan the band first and then you can hear what you've uh, received the second thing um, as well I want to uh, point out is that um, you have to uh, be very particular in the direction of uh, where you're pointing your, your radio for the DAB um, band. Now, right now, I've got my antenna pointing sort of like, um, I think it's like a westerly direction, and it should be pointing north for uh, stations coming from London, right? Because I'm in this in in the south of the UK at the moment, and I should be pointing it, uh, you know, towards the north, which is the direction of uh, London. But um, for some reason, it's coming through really well from a westerly uh, direction. I mean, the thing is with uh, DAB signals, same as with FM radio signals, is that the uh, the signals are line of sight okay and um, the best way you know to get DAB signals is with a directional antenna like this telescopic antenna okay and to have it pointed at a particular direction when you know that the signals you know there's good signals coming from a particular particular area or uh, direction now how to know if the signals are coming good from one area well um, I mean, sometimes you've got uh, websites you can look at, for example, or you can join forums where, you know, people, more experienced people will say, look, you know, um, DAB signals being received from this place, that place, and so on. You say, oh, am I going to have a go? And, uh, yeah, you go outdoors and you try it, and then, yeah, you'll receive it. But if you don't know, you know, in case you don't know or there's no particular alert for the DAB band, then what I recommend is just get your radio, go outside, and scan the band you know it doesn't matter where you're pointing the antenna just scan it and th that's it but with experience you will know which places which directions to uh, point your um, you know the telescopic antenna of your radio to get the best results uh, possible but again it depends like I said it depends where you know where the best uh, signals are coming from like for example um, I know that on one occasion there were good signals coming from the you know Belgium the Netherlands uh, even Germany as well and I pointed, pointed it sort of like, um, I think it was like a, rather a northwesterly direction, right? And uh, doing that actually got, you know, the, the best signals possible out of uh, those areas from those countries. Okay, so this, this I'm showing you how tricky, you know, it, DAB, DX it can be. But don't let this put you off, okay? Because once you've done it a few times, you will get the hang of it, okay? So what we're going to do is, first of all, I'm just going to show you an example of how easy it is to lose, lose a DAB signal. So right now... Um, receiving a station from London, from the London uh, DAB multiplex, okay, BBC Radio London. Turn the volume up. And right now the signal is just above 50%, okay? The empty bar indicates about a quarter of a signal, so like 25, uh, 25%. We don't want to go below that because then we, we lose signal or sometimes we get poor signal quality. Um, you get like sound artifacts gobbling, which is typical of... Um, low signal, you know, digital radio signals. Okay, so I'm going to 
Okay, so I'm pointing it right now, the radio, at the uh, prime direction. So I'm just going to take it to the right a bit. Okay, look, there we go. We've lost the signal. Okay, take it back to the prime uh, direction. Fine. Now I'm just going to move it. You hear that? You lost. We lost the signal, but we heard a bit of gobbling. Okay, and it's trying to find it. Look now, tuning. Okay. Get together and get seen and we've pointed it a bit more to the left, just, and again we've got it back. Before, Move it a bit to the along, so right here. Nothing. Okay. Okay. Sorry that you can't see me moving. Okay. So there we go. I'm just going to show you Sometimes that I'm moving you, there. You, you don't realize it because you are Move it to the left. Okay. Do, and to the right a bit. Nothing. A bit of gobbling. Sort of, um, right. There. And, and then the to the prime uh, prime um, dis uh, prime direction. Move it to the right again. And we've lost it okay just by moving it a little bit to the right we're back here to the center prime direction and there you go okay so just an indication of how easy it is to lose a db signal and what we're going to do next is we're going to do a scan okay an automatic scan because like i said this is the best way to find db signals we can do it manually i'm just going to show you okay so press the select button here look you can do a manual tune of the dab band okay so there we are but we're not going to do that we're just going to right let me just get rid of that okay let me just see if i can bring it back there okay there we go so we brought it back there to what we were listening to and what we're going to do next next like i said we're going to do an automatic scan of the dab band scanning the whole band okay the whole dab band and there we are okay and we let it do its thing Okay, let me just explain the th a few things while we're doing the uh, DAB band. First thing is that the DAB band goes from uh, 175 megahertz to 240 megahertz here in the UK. I don't know if it's different elsewhere, you know, in other parts of the world, um, uh, or certainly in Europe, let's say. Um, what one thing as well, another thing as well, is that um, DAB um, band conditions they can be elevated, they can be better on some days than others. And this is due to, you know, things like tropospheric conditions. Um, I know, you know, the most common place to get tropospheric conditions is on the FM band. And when you hear stations, more stations than usual on the FM band, and, you know, conditions are good, you might say, say to yourself, well, maybe it might be the same for the DAB band. I'll do a DAB, a DAB scan. Why not? You do it. And sometimes, yes, sometimes you do get uh, more stations on the DAB band than, than normal. But other times you don't, and that's because the DAB band, because it's higher than the FM band. The FM band is from 87.5 to 108 megahertz. Like I said, the DAB band goes from 175 to 240 megahertz. Sometimes it doesn't. The tropospheric conditions or the tropo doesn't go high enough to the DAB band. Uh, so just want to explain that in case you know. Like I said, even though you might hear that uh, tropospheric conditions or there's elevated conditions on the F uh, on the radio bands. But it's not happening on the DAB bands. Well, it's because maybe because of that. So the other thing as well is um, you might want to know, well, which is the best direction to point your antenna for the DAB band? You know, so well, so that when you do an auto scan, um, it will receive the, the most number of stations uh, possible. Um, well, um, it, de it depends. I mean, depends where the um, signals are coming from, depends the conditions, where they're, you know, propagating from and so on. I mean, the best thing to do is that, um, you know, just try each direction, like, you know, uh, do a scan in, you know, uh, pointing north, do a scan pointing east, south and west. right? And, yeah, I mean, it might sound a bit too much, you know, too much work to do a, a scan, um, a radio scan. But the reason for this, again, it's because DAB scanning is tricky. It's not difficult, but it's trickier than doing a scan on the uh, on the fm band and you've got to have more patience as well dab uh, scanning and dxing requires more patience than if you are dxing and scanning on the uh, fm band so i just want to point that out um so yeah so you know the results are not going to be as immediate as the fm band um you might not you know you might be disappointed that you might not you know get as much as the fm band but if you persevere you ha if you have patience and if you, sometimes if you wait till the conditions are good um then uh, what will happen is that you will have very good results um indeed and also something else as well if you go to uh, if you find a prime spot when you're outdoors 
right? Um, like, for example, me, I'm sort of like a, at a fourth floor height. There's a field beyond the distance you can see, okay, very well, because I'm quite high um, where I'm based at the moment. If you can go to a high place, even better, because uh, the higher the place you are, the more radio signals you're going to get. And if you can do that, do a DAB scan at a high place, uh, at a, and, you know, and hopefully at a safe place as well, you will get even better um, results regardless of conditions. Okay, so try and find a, a nice, uh, safe, prime spot to do uh, DAB uh, DXing. So that sums up, um, you know, doing uh, DAB uh, DXing. I've tried my best to explain how to do DAB DXing um, because it's not an easy thing um, to explain. Because, like I said, it's. Let me just point out, you know, point uh, point out everything in summary. It's trickier to do DAB DXing compared to FM DXing. Okay, um, you have to point the antenna at a certain direction to get the best signals uh, possible okay but um, once you find it you'll be using that same direction over and over again so it's just a matter of trial and error okay um, like i said try different directions until you find that prime spot or that rather that prime direction okay um and uh yeah and also um as well is sometimes if uh, you do DAB DXing during good radio conditions, your results will be better. Um, and um, when conditions are not so good, your, your results may be average. So obviously it depends. But I don't want to put anyone off. I mean, just, just carry on, just try it. Once you get, you know, you've tried it a few times, you'll get the hang of it, you'll get the experience, and then you become a DAB DX expert. And uh, you'll, you'll, find, you, you'll find that you'll, um, it'll be quite addictive after a while. Um, because you know you're trying to get you know as many stations as possible. Um, I think my record when I did a, a scan was something like 220 stations. So try beating that if uh, you can, and if I can get that number of stations, anybody can doing a DAB scan. So good luck. I hope that um, eventually you find that DAB DXing um, will be uh, your thing. And so thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in another video.